Hello there YouTube and welcome to a very very short first look of a game called Cubicle Quest. And I think this screen and the thumbnail shows why it's going to be such a short one. This is an RPG Maker game, which is a very very small little game built normally by one person. And it's not like one of your big budget games that you'll normally see on here. I'll just start a new game to show you. And we get the choice of a tutorial straight away. And yeah, let's do the tutorial. Z selects options and interacts with objects. X cancels. X also opens the menu. Both keys of advanced dialogue. F12 resets the game instantly. Hold shift in order to run. And yep, after gra and that was the tutorial. Those two little boxes of text was the tutorial. And straight off, yes, it's boxes of text to get through this. There is no voice acting or anything in this game. You have to read everything. So... After graduating, you managed to land a job. You were so happy. At first. And now we get to choose our protagonist's name. We've obviously got Bob here. And yeah, let's stick with Bob, because this is just going to be one quick video. Finally done with work. Back to this crappy old apartment. I'm so tired. I just want to sleep. And then wake up tomorrow and go to work again. And the next day, and the next. Damn, I forgot I might have another credit card bill. I might be able to put up with this job if it at least paid enough for me to live. And I still haven't done laundry. I know. I'll finish my chores, start exercising, get a girlfriend, research a new job, and turn my life around. It'll be great! Yeah, I like that's gonna happen. Most likely, I'll just stare at the TV until I fall asleep. Just like last night. And you can already tell what this game is going to be like. <laughs> I had real trouble just working out how to get it into full screen mode. It started off windowed as less than a quarter of the size of my screen. But I do think this game is great. Because it's got an interesting sense of humour and premise, which we're about to get onto. Because, yep, after he sighs, fall asleep. And there's suddenly music! Castle Sanity, it says, in the top left. And hey, Bob, wake up! And look at this! We're somewhere completely different, with a little person whose face you can see down in the bottom left. Finally, you're awake! What? What's going on? Wasn't... Wasn't I somewhere else just now? You were mumbling something that sounded like TV. I assume the stress from the war is getting to you. War? The Debt Alliance has taken over most of your kingdom. They're threatening to beat down the gates of Castle Sanity. Right, I remember now. They were so small at first, yet suddenly they had conquered Free Time Mountain. That's right. Come down to the War Room and we'll update you on the newest developments. If I may say so, the situation looks grim. Such a strange dream. And now we get into the actual game, and look at this, I'm a tiny person, and apologies for my terrible voice acting I'm lending to this game, but sometimes you've got to throw it in, I expect most of you won't want to read. But yes, I think this game is great. I've played five minutes of it before recording, and I think it's amazing. And lots of you have probably already stopped watching, so everyone who's stuck around, thank you. Yeah, this was the sort of game I was raised on, early Final Fantasies and stuff like that, it's good. Good style of game, and the reason I love this so much is because it's not some AAA thing doing the standard set pieces where you go around shooting everything and being the badass and stuff. It's got an actual interesting idea and has to rely on storytelling and very basic mechanics to get round. And you'll notice that my movement's a bit weird. I'm just a little sprite down here. It's been very poorly done. And look, this fire. That's like two or three different images just switching between them all. It's Cute and nice. The reason I'm showcasing this game though is because it's 41 pence, which is less than half the price of a bottle of beer I'm drinking whilst recording this. But. Oh, 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 I found a ring of sanity! Oh, sweet. Let's load up the menu, and yep, you've got an old RPG style menu, items, weapons, armor, key item, ring of sanity. Ah, returns you to Castle Sanity. Do you wish to return to Castle Sanity? Sure, I'm already here, but let's return there. Look at that, and then. Yes, yeah, so I can use that ring at any time. Let's do that. 
And I can check Bob's skills, and he's got self-esteem, restore the user's HP. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he's not actually got any self-esteem. Look at that, I got attack, defense, sat, what's sat? Agility and luck I recognize, sat, sanity? SDF, I'm not sure what that is either. Goal, survive today, community, isolation, virtue, confidence, book as accessory, resume. And yeah, it's very much an old school RPG. That makes fun out of the fact that people around my age normally hate their jobs and we want to be doing something else, like having a successful YouTube channel which lets us be free of the horrible rat race of the world. But yeah, this is great because when I was growing up, I didn't have a gaming PC or anything. I didn't have a PC at all, but if I had a PC, this would be the kind of game I'd be going for, because 41 pence is something quite easy to get behind. It's probably in America would be like 50 cents, a half a dollar. And you end up with just a little game on the little Steam page. It says 20 to 25 hours worth of game. I'd probably do a couple of playthroughs of this when I was younger and be quite happy with that. So that'd be like 41 pence for me to get close to 50 hours worth of game out. And it's got a nice sense of humour. It's, it's good. We're ending this recording very shortly, but I'll go through the next little bit of a game. Because I've just been talking so far about how I like this whole concept. And now I talk to this thing, which is actually a person and not a podium. Ta-da! Uh, what? I've got to remember my voices now. Glad to see you're looking better, sir. What's the situation? Though our enemies far outnumber us, we've been able to keep them at bay with 400 new soldiers each month. Yeah, I thought we were wearing them down. What's changed? Mom and Pop Kingdom has cut us off, without their support. Damn, I should have known they wouldn't support us forever. Without their help, how many soldiers can we field? Sir, I'm afraid we won't even be able to keep up with the monsters in our own borders. We're going to be 600 soldiers short of what we need to avoid chaos. Wow, that doesn't sound good. Okay, let's not panic. What exactly are we dealing with? How many monsters are in the Debt Alliance? Sir, we're keeping an eye on them. The credit card armies are menacing the castle. The First Legion is 7,000 monsters, and they're breeding more. But in my opinion, we should be more worried about the Second Legion. They're only 3,000 strong, but they're breeding even faster. Beyond them, the College Lone Army is waiting in the desert. 30,000 strong. So far, we've kept them at bay. I'll keep an eye on them, and let you know how the battle is going. But unless you have reinforcements for us, we're going to go under. Ugh, I wish I hadn't asked. I've spotted a cloaked form walking our walls. He's not with the Dark Alliance, but he terrifies me. Really? Really wish I hadn't asked. Let's focus on this month for now. What can we do to keep ourselves alive? I know you don't want to, sir, but I think it's time to find a roommate. An ally could cut our rent needs from 1,000 soldiers to 500. I actually had one of the guys at work talk about, like, uh rooming up and stuff and me living in town to make it easier, just like, hey, you can live with me, it'd be so much cheaper and stuff. Oh, that's quite topical. <laughs> Fine, we don't have a choice. No, wait, which voice am I doing for this one? <laughs> this is a problem with me voice acting it, I don't know what's going on. Fine, we don't have a choice, but that's not going to be enough. What else can we do? You should venture into the dungeon of work. The king of work said he needed a shift manager. Oh god, I've turned down that position before. <laughs> But I don't want to. Isn't it enough that I just got a job in the first place? Not really. We'd be overrun by monsters if not for Mom and Pup Kingdom. You can do better than this. Yeah, yeah, get a promotion, find a roommate, keep saying another month. Got it. This game is awesome and my voice acting is perfect. And I forgot I have this fitness book lying around. Left it behind when work started getting so ugly. New genre, fitness, and yeah, it just mocks a job. Age 25 years, wow, this is, okay, yeah, it just, <laughs> for many of you watching, this will be quite a relatable and entertaining little thing, because you've likely just started a job or have been working at a job for a while and are feeling it's horrible and God, I'm just doing the same thing every single day. I myself have just come off a bunch of shifts 
and this is my one day off before I'm back in. I was working yesterday, today's my day off, I'm back in tomorrow. And the modality of it, oh it's horrible! And we gain to break that up, to put ourselves into a different life where we're not just working this 9 to 5 or whatever it is. And sometimes games can be great little parodies of real life, and this is just one of them. And it's cheap, so if like me, when you were younger you didn't have much money or you don't have much money now, if you want just a fun little quirky game to play, even if it's just for a few hours, this is cheap. Cubicle Quest. Go take a look at it on Steam. It also shows that just a very small or a one person team even can make a nice little game just with their imagination. And creativity can always be awesome. Let's pick up this book as well. Time is your most valuable resource. It can be traded for any other resource, but nothing can be traded for more time. Very true. But I think I'll end things there. Because I've been recording for over 11 minutes now. Yeah, this is going to require so little editing though, because it's just me talking whilst some little game's playing. If you do want to pick this up, keep a cool quest, just type it into Steam. It's quite nice. But, yeah, I just wanted to talk to you guys, and also show off something that's very different to what I'd normally show. Thank you all very much for watching. There's plenty of more normal-ish content on my channel, but I hope this provided a nice change of pace, and spark some sort of discussion. I feel like I should be asking you to say something in the comments, but I don't know what question to actually ask. So just talk, say stuff, do anything, whatever you want, just, yeah, words. Oh god, it was too long a week for me. Thank you all very much for watching, and goodbye.